Hey, what is up guys? I am Hippie. I want to welcome you back to a brand new episode of the Archer playthrough for you guys today. So, um, in this episode of the playthrough, we're going to go ahead and run through the... I think it's called Frostbitten. I can't quite remember. I originally did record audio with this video, but this was part of that big pile of videos that I've been mentioning over the past few days that I lost all the audio for because my mic was muted. So, unfortunately... I lost the audio for this one as well, so we're just going to add some voice over to it as well. I didn't really talk anything about the quest anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I figured today we would talk a little bit about why I'm taking this break. Um, I said in the break video that I wasn't going to talk about it anymore and that that was all I was going to talk about it, but after I was thinking about it a little bit more, I decided that you guys probably want a little bit better of an explanation on why it's happening I guess um, and why I am taking a break and why I needed a break um, so I'm gonna explain it to you guys and that way you guys aren't left in the dark wondering and trying to figure out what happened or why I'm doing it or whatever nothing in particular happened that uh, caused it in its in its own um, so basically uh, you know there's two different types of people in the world when you break it down there's introverts and extroverts there's the introverts which would prefer staying home and reading a book by themselves or just hanging out by themselves or listening to some music and then you got the extrovert that would like going out and having a huge party with 100 people or whatever um, I'm definitely an introvert and I don't like in particular talking to people I don't know that well or um, you know going out to these areas with people like uh, I don't know huge groups of people that I don't know and it just makes me uncomfortable and I don't really like it so um, basically something as simple as you know going out and meeting somebody new or talking to somebody that you don't know for an extrovert is no problem or probably even someone that's in the middle of the two would be no problem but something as simple as that just for me to go out and talk to somebody I don't know that's a huge, huge subject. Like, it's actually like a milestone if I do do it. That's what I'm talking about. That's how big of a deal it is. And that's how different my brain is wired than you guys might be. Um, and if you guys, you know, if you guys are an introvert as well, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, in particular, I avoid going out as much as I possibly can. I stick around most of the time, or uh, if I do go outside, it's in like my backyard or around my neighborhood. It's not, I don't go to, um, you know, these big things. Is, is, is I go as little as I need to go. Um, and yeah, that can be a little difficult sometimes. But the other thing is, even when I make my own videos, uh, I put on this extra persona, I guess. I talk a little fluently, I talk a little louder, and I act a little different than I normally would. Uh, in my day-to-day -day life, so I have to spend quite a bit of energy doing this. I have a little, like, a little storage of energy to begin with, um, so I have to spend this energy to make these videos sound so they're not monotone and that they're not just me talking like this the whole time and how are you guys doing? Welcome to the Archer playthrough. No, I gotta boost it up a little bit. I gotta, I guess basically take my own persona give it some cocaine and then go wild that's basically what I gotta do whenever I gotta start a recording uh, and I don't mind doing that it's actually quite fun switching out of my normal persona and entering this in this uh, I guess YouTube persona I suppose you could even say uh, I like doing it it's fun however it can use quite a bit of energy and whenever I have to do a big recording session or record with a lot of people I don't know or whenever I'm meeting somebody that I don't know from YouTube or whatever that takes a lot of energy like it's actually somewhat hard to do that type of stuff um, now people that I know and that I talk to daily or whatever like for instance Jess or uh, maybe Stan or Dov or some of the uh, Dutch guys or whatever um, or Loshku or Grizz that's not a big deal I talk to those guys quite often now, it's at the point where it doesn't matter and it's easy to do that, but for instance, if I were to try to go and record with, I don't know, maybe Tinder or Sabalonian or someone, someone that I don't talk to very often, that would be hard for me to do, it'd be difficult. So 
That's basically what the problem is. And when I did the Halloween Spectacular, I was uploading uh, three to four videos a day on some of those days. Uh, I ended up uploading 12 Halloween videos that week and 14 regular videos that week. Uh, that's 26 videos in a week. That's double what I would normally use. And so that basically took twice the amount of energy that I was used to it taking. On top of that, I was also uh, doing some extra stuff in between that didn't end up getting up that took a little bit more time as well. So it basically just took all of my energy out of me. And I was going to take a break immediately after Halloween, but I decided to keep going a little while, a little while longer. Um, until eventually it ended up being a problem. Like, I probably should have took my break before it became a, a worry or anything like that, but I didn't. I took my break um, way later in, and by the time I took my break, I kind of had this, like, absolute drainage of energy, and I was just unex... 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 I can't talk. Uninspired, and just... I didn't want to make videos, actually. So... That was definitely a problem when you don't want to make videos for your own YouTube channel. So, I, you know, I took that little bit of a break. I did the huge mass recording, and I'm uploading them throughout this week here. And basically this week I just plan on, you know, chilling out, kind of just trying to meditate and do the whole deal and work on my mind and get my energy levels back up again and basically get myself back into a... I guess, um, I don't know how to say it. Man, it's really weird. I'm trying to get myself back into this zen state, I suppose, where I'm not worrying about YouTube. Um, that's another problem of mine that, you know, I'm a very anxious guy, as is. I think about my videos. Every time I record a video, I render it, and I'm thinking, man, this is stupid. Nobody's going to like this video. This is a terrible video. This might be my worst video yet. I upload it, and people are like, wow, this is a good video, or people leave likes, or people leave the comments about some of the stories that I get nervous telling. Uh, and then you guys seem to enjoy it, and then it gets like 60, 70 views for uh, a Couchcraft video, which is pretty insane, or it gets like 300 views for an Archer playthrough, and you know, I realized that these worries were you know, stupid to have to worry about, or unnecessary, or just waste of my time, but I can't help it, I just worry whenever I upload a video, um, so yeah, you know, that's, that's definitely a problem as well, and I got a ton of that anxiety during the, during the Halloween videos, because I was testing out some new formats that I had never done before, I had never done any of those creepy pastas. I wasn't sure how you guys were going to like them, I wasn't sure if you guys were going to like the stories I was telling, I was thinking that a lot of you guys probably weren't going to believe that they were real, so, you know, that was a bit worrisome as well, and, uh, you know, you guys ended up liking a lot of it, so like I said, it was worthless to really worry about, and it didn't make any sense, and it didn't do any good, but can't help it I just worry about it so what I try to do is get myself into a state where I know that it's all going to be good and I don't have to worry and stuff like that but it's not always uh, so easy to do that sometimes you just have to you know kind of worry for, for, for a little bit and then uh, get yourself back in order but that's basically what I'm going to try to do this entire week is get myself back into a spot where I know I don't have to worry, just do some positive thinking, uh, some meditation, some deep thought type deal, uh, and just some relaxation off of YouTube, off of online. I've been just like, you know, I think I'm probably going to do quite a bit of Sky Wars this game because I can just kind of relax, or, or throughout this week I can just kind of relax and uh, listen to some music and play some Sky Wars or whatever, and it'll be nice and fun, and I don't have to worry too much about anything, so... Yeah, I think that'll be pretty good for me. I think I can get my anxiety levels back down to a minimum, get myself back into a good position. You guys will know. When I come back, you guys will absolutely hear a difference. Whether it's for the bad or for the good, I'm not sure. Uh, there's no way for me to really tell. With my personality, it's a little hard for me to even tell because I can fluctuate through these good times and bad times really easily, and that sucks, but... Um, you just kind of got to make sure that you, you put yourself in the good times and put yourself around the good people and stuff like that and kind of deal with it your own way, I suppose. And my way is just kind of, I don't know, every once in a while taking a step back and just realizing what I have with me right now and what I need to worry about and what I don't need to worry about and stuff along those lines. So 
that's basically what I'm going to try to do is just reflect, I suppose, and, and try to be grateful for what I got with me right now. I know the holidays are going to be coming up soon. What is it? Thanksgiving. I don't actually know what, thanks, th- th- what day Thanksgiving is, but yeah, I guess that's a day that you're supposed to be thankful for what you got. So I guess I'm going to spend this couple of week, a uh, few days, I suppose it is actually. It's only about... Let's see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I'm probably going to record again on Sunday. So, it's given me four days to just kind of hang out offline uh, and do some talking and stuff like that. And, or not some talking, some thinking and just kind of figure everything out, feel, figure out, you know, how lucky I actually am right now and stuff like that. And then, you know, back on Monday, I'll be coming back solid with two videos a day, every day, for... Uh, you know, six days a week, and then every Sunday having my Archer playthrough as well, because at the end of the day, you know, I find that I do like making these videos. It doesn't matter if I get the occasional hater, the occasional jerk face, or whatever, or, you know, I, I occasionally run into a technical issue because of my setup, or whatever. It's still a good time at the end of the day, <laughs> even if I have to spend, like, three hours uploading a five-minute video, whatever. It's still... I still really enjoy making these videos, and I, I don't think I would stop ever unless YouTube Red came out and screwed everything up and made it impossible to do videos and stuff like that. I, I think uh, it would have to take some kind of outside force, unrelated to me, that that would make me have to stop YouTube. For instance, like I don't know, a hurricane or a tornado or something wiping me out or whatever, getting poked in the eye with I don't know a baseball or something. You know, I think it would take some. A little bit more extreme than just a little bit of anxieties to to keep me off of YouTube. I mean, I feel like I've been able to push through it for the past year now, so I'm just gonna keep on going ahead and pushing. But we're wrapping up pretty close right now. We just got the uh, quest finish up. Oh, just got a sage. I don't know where that came from. Um, but yeah, I guess that is gonna go ahead and do it though for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. I have been Hippie, and I'll see you guys next time.